Rear brakes on a 2016 Ford F-150. This should work for 2010 to 2017. F-150, Navigator, and Expedition. All right, so we're gonna start off with taking our lug nuts off. They're gonna be 21 or 22 millimeter, depending. And uh, we got a 13 millimeter socket, and we're gonna break free the two bolts on the back of the caliper. Ooh, they were in there pretty good. When they break free, they usually come out real easily, just by with your hands. There are these little hex heads right there in case they keep spinning on you. Get back. Now we're gonna snag up a flathead screwdriver. See if we can turn this piston back. Changing the pads and the rotors. There we go. Boom, calipers off. This is a real simple brake change, guys. And now we're gonna grab our 18 millimeter socket. And if I wanna use the air gun, I'm gonna need an extender back here. So that was an 18 mil. Grab an extender. Shove it through the leaf spring. Go. Otherwise, use a ratchet. Bracket comes off. You're probably going to need a hammer. Hammer time. Yep. Uh huh. Scrap the hammer. We're changing the rotor so we are not afraid to hurt it if you're keeping your rotor and you got to take it off for some reason hit right here in between the studs don't make your studs just loosen it up he's a rusty boy getting there. <sighs> We're working it off. Grab a fry bar. Can't quite get this. There we go. A couple of vibrations working around. I think we might have it. Ah, there we go. Good time to check out your e brakes. These ones look pretty good. There's still paint on the springs. Cool. All right, clean off your hub surface. Put a little brake grease or any seeds on there if you want to. It's always a good idea, good touch. All right, we gotta press back that caliper, I'll show you that. We're gonna do this off camera. Clean this bracket up, it's rusty. See these pins right here, these slider pins? One has a rubber spot on it, one doesn't. So make sure you put them in the right hole. Clean that old grease off, put new grease on. And you're gonna be using high temp silicone based brake grease. We're gonna hammer 
these pads out. We got new hardware with the premium brake pads. So we're gonna replace that hardware. Use a wire wheel, wire brush, Dremel tool, and clean off your sliding surface for your brake pad ears so there's no rust on them. And then I like to put a thin layer of grease down in between the hardware and the mounting bracket so it doesn't swell up with rust and lock your pads in. Put a little grease on the, where the uh, brake pad ears connect to the hardware. And get it all cleaned up and greased up. Now, let's turn this caliper in. This one is just straightforward method. You can use a C-clamp, no rotation needed. You can use a C-clamp, you can use a big old pliers. I like to use those. Or you can use a turn back tool. Uh, here's a turn back tool. This is a heavy duty one. You can get a cheap up one for like five bucks at Harbor Freight. So this is how it works. We're fully, ex we're really extended. So we got to bring it in a lot. We got a little plate right here. If you're using the cheap one, use your old brake pad. If it doesn't come with a plate, there we go. We got it in there, right around the caliper piston. Now, when you're compressing these, it's always a good idea to open your bleeder, bleeder valve. But uh, this style, it'll be all right. And uh, we're gonna let a brake lead in after we're done. Always recommended. Don't have to, but it is recommended. Go ahead and just turn this. And as we're turning it, it is pressing the caliper in. And we're putting new pads and rotors on, so it needs to be all the way sank in. There we go, we're all the way in. Remember that uh, brake grease I told you about? Put some right here on the surface of the caliper and the two ears. It'll help in the future if you're in the rust belt. Clean up any rusty surfaces. Don't let your caliper hang. And we are all prepped up here. We'll put the new rotor on, spray it down with some brake cleaner first, smack it on, grease up our caliper, clean up our mounting bracket, put our pads together. Pads together, it's pretty self-explanatory. Put them in the way they came out. I'll show you. All right, we're back. Everything's cleaned and greased. New pads set into place. Pop them in, pop them out. Pads won't fit in there. Clean your rust off. All right, we set it into place. Got our big bolt in hand. Get her started. Boom, started. Next bolt. Started. Give the old Uga Dugas. Get them nice and tight, people. These, the big ones in the back, nice and tight. That's the official torque spec. <laughs> Squeeze your pads together, push your rotor in, make sure it's in, everything straight. Caliper over, dub pads. Push in your sliding hardware so your ears go over it. Grab those two small 13 millimeters. Start one, start the other. Grab your 13 millimeter ratchet. <clears throat> nice and tight, don't snap them off in there. They're little bolts, but nice and tight. Boom, we're all put back together. Now we can open our bleeder and bleed the brakes after we do the other side. 
So what we'll do, we'll do the other side, we'll pump the brake pedal a bunch of times, five, 10, 15 times, get those pistons to come out, open up the bleeder, bleed the brakes. There's lots of videos on brake bleeding. And uh, boom, after it's bled, we'll pump the brakes a few more times, make sure they feel good, put the tires on, take it for a test drive. Thanks for watching. If you appreciate this video, please drop a like, maybe even a subscribe, and uh, have a great day.